Peter and Anne were the great-grandparents of Bill Gardner. Peter was born in 1809 in the Black Forest area of Germany in the Kingdom of Baden. He was born when the area was being ruled by France and Napoleon. At a very early age, Peter is said to have stowed away on one of the many ships destined for America. After many months on the water, Peter finally arrived in Philadelphia. Peter married Sarah Ann Mode of Philadelphia in 1831. He was 22 years old and she was only 18. In Philadelphia, they had four children and he worked as a stonemason. Peter saved his money and sent for his younger brother Jacob from Germany. Jacob was the only other one from his family that immigrated from Germany. Peter and Sarah joined the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on the 15th of November, 1840. They remained faithful to the church until they died. Uh, after joining the church, they, like most of the saints, migrated to Nauvoo. They had two small children who died in Nauvoo. The first, known only as the letter C, died on the 6th of May, 1845, and another child, known as the letter F, died on the 4th of October, 1845. Both children were buried in the Old Mormon Cemetery in Nauvoo, Illinois. Peter and Sarah among the last of the saints to leave Nauvoo. Peter often spoke, hearing of the last cannon fire, fire as he left the city of Joseph in September 1846, and then turning to have one last look at the city only to see the temple burning. After four years of living in Potawatomi, just north of Winter Quarters, they left with their children, Sarah, who was four, Mary Jane, 13, and Alexander, 14, with the foot company. As pioneers on their journey, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy named Peter Michael along the trail. Peter and Sarah settled in Salt Lake City. When work began on the Salt Lake Temple, Peter began helping with the building for which he was paid 25 cents a day. He was a stonemason. Peter felt that the work was well worth the effort when he was chosen to help pull the cornerstone with the help of a team of oxen. It was one of the greatest events in his life. After doing some research on my grandfather Bill's gardener's line, I came across some research on Sarah Ann Mode. And in it, it showed that her mother was white and her dad was a free person of color. I had been contemplating about doing my DNA, but this put me over the edge. I wanted to see if any of the mold line would show up in my DNA. So, as you can see, I have 1% African descent. In the 1820 census, it showed that Jesse Mould, Sarah's father, was a free people of color and her mother was white. By the 1830 census, the family had moved 30 miles south of Philadelphia to Delaware. Here, the census showed one white female and five free people of color. In the 1840 census, Sarah's married to Peter and her mother was living with them. It showed them all, all white and in all, in all the census from 1850 to 1880, Sarah was counted as white. Sarah was baptized for her deceased brother in the Mississippi River, an indication that she maintained contact with her family members in the East to know of his death and that her relationship with her brother was very dear to her. Sarah and Peter received their washing and anointing and endowment rituals on Christmas Eve in 1845 in the Nauvoo Temple. Peter was sealed to Sarah Ann by Brigham Young in the office of the president in 1855.